You know, I love systems and software and technology, and I have found that if you can have the right software and tools in your business, you can do a lot of deals and you can make, it makes life a whole lot easier. But here's the problem that I've seen a lot of investors make. If you were like me, where you kind of take it to the extreme and you really geek out, you start doing everything except the stuff that actually makes money, all right? You know, I love software, technology. I think it's amazing because there's so many things that technology can do to make your life easier, especially as a real estate investor. You know, if, um, well, my good friend, Rob Swanson, who owns FreedomSoft, which is awesome and amazing. I love FreedomSoft, and I'm gonna be doing some more stuff about that soon here. But he talks about simple system scale. And it's, it's when you can figure out a simple thing, right, and create a system out of it, and then scale that from there, you can go to the moon and you can really crush it in this business. If you can learn how to break things down into their simplest components, build a real simple duplicatable system around that and then learn how to scale that the right way with the right people and the right resources, you can do, you can make millions and millions of dollars, okay? So one of the things that when I first got started, I've always kind of been really, I guess, good at computers and I like software and technology and I, I, I sometimes I admit I, I chase the shiny objects of new software, new the new phones, the new computers, the new camera equipment and mics and all of that. But I've learned something really, really valuable. That kind of stuff doesn't make you money. What makes you money is marketing, talking to sellers, making offers, following up with sellers, right? So that's been something that I've been thinking a lot about. And so there was a software at one time called Podio. Podio was free for the basic version and then the pro version was like seven bucks a month. It was really cheap. And it was a software that you could do kind of whatever you wanted with it. You could design and create your own CRM or lead management database with this drag and drop style interface. So whatever you wanted to track, you could create different apps inside of your workspace. You could have one workspace or one app for um, seller leads and one app for buyer leads. And then as you started making offers, you'd have an app for that. And you can have different workspaces for different markets that you're in. So if you're in Des Moines, Iowa, you'd have a workspace for that. So it was like, whatever you could dream up, you could kind of do it inside of this platform and it was really simple and easy. And so I had a student of mine, we were talking on one time on a, we were starting to do deals together in Oklahoma. He was in uh, Lebanon at the time, Beirut, Lebanon, a really nice guy. And we, I was helping him, coaching him how to do deals in the United States with his family that was in the US as well at that time. And so I said, hey, what, what could we use as a, you know, a software to kind of manage all these leads together that's simple and easy to use? And he said, well, you should check out Podio. Have you heard of it? I said, no, Podio, what's that? And I started digging into it. And I forget what year this was, but nobody was using it here in the US pretty much. And I started introducing, I fell in love with this thing and I started geeking out over this software and um, started building my own stuff. And then at the time, uh, Sean Terry had a huge audience. He still does, but he was more active in podcasts and YouTubes and stuff like that at the time. And I started, I showed him and he got all excited about it. Cody Sperber was another friend of mine. I showed him how to do it. And then I was part of this big mastermind where there are a lot of other influencers in it. Started showing them Podio. And pretty soon, within a year, two years, Podio just exploded on the real estate investor scene. <laughs> I started creating software and services around Podio because I thought I even got the domain podiojoe.com or joepodio.com because I wanted to be the Podio guy and I wanted to be the guy that could go out and implement and, and kind of sell the software and sell the service of, you know, whatever. Well, here's where things started kind of falling off the wheels. Um, I was started seeing a lot of students and people, beginning investors, getting all excited about this and building out these really complex, complicated, fancy, technical Podio setups, but weren't doing any deals. They were focusing on stuff in the name of being busy, in the name of building their business. But when you broke, you know, they started getting real frustrated because this software, having this amazing software, wasn't making them any money. It wasn't helping them do deals even, right? So they had this great thing that when you click this button, it does these 20 different things and it does all this automated follow-up and you can 
click this other button and it creates the contract and then it mails the contract and then it schedules out six months of follow-up. And that's awesome. That sounds like, really, but if you don't have any leads coming in, if you're not talking to people, if you're not making offers, what good does the best software in the world do? It doesn't do anything for you, right? Listen, no offers equals no money. So like we, we built this simple system, but as we started complicating it, trying to scale it, we weren't putting any leads into it. We weren't making any offers with it. So I got real frustrated. And at the time as well, uh, the bigger, the fancier the technology got, the more it was likely to break. And so a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And when one of those links in this chain would break, the whole thing would break and sometimes you wouldn't know it for weeks. So we had to tie it into all these third party integrations, you know, Zapier and then Lob or um, Google Sheets, Google Docs, uh, like five or six other different softwares. And so they would all try to communicate with each other. And if one would ever change their APIs or do any kind of change, it would break the whole thing. And, and sometimes you wouldn't know that your follow-up wasn't going out, that the contracts weren't being created and weren't being sent. So it became just a giant cluster. But we, we found something as I started working with people and started, you know, like I remember one time I did a workshop and this guy was showing me his Podio setup and he took it a step further than what I did. And he was set up all these extra awesome, cool customizations. He was so excited. I was excited about it. I was looking at it and then I said, oh man, okay, well show me what you've done with it. Show me the leads. And there were none, right? And there were only like test leads. And I said, oh, so like, he said, oh, but I'm, I'm, it's working. I'm getting, I'm making offers. I said, okay, well, show me the offers that you've made, right? Because I thought maybe he was showing me data in a, like a test account or a dummy account or something like that. And he said, well, okay. And he showed it to me and he'd only sent out maybe one or two offers in the last six months. And I said, Mike, what are you doing? Like, what have you been doing the last six months? He goes, well, I've been building this awesome system. And so there became this phrase that uh, a, a buddy of mine and I came up with. His name is Tom Kroll. <laughs> he said, show me an expert in Podio and I'll show you a broke wholesaler. And that just, I thought it was so funny because it's so true. Even though today, maybe people aren't using Podio anymore. Whatever the fancy tool is, the software, the list building service, the website, the, you know, the fancy automations and AI, right? Like show me somebody who's really good at that stuff and I'll show you somebody who's not doing a lot of deals. And that's the sad, frustrating truth about technology because all these bells and whistles are nice. They're nice to have, but does it, does, does the sellers don't want to jump through a bunch of hoops. The sellers don't want to have to talk to um, a voicemail, an automated machine. Uh, they don't want to talk to an AI chat bot. They want to talk to real people. And if you want to make money in real estate, it is a people business. If you don't want to be on the phone, you got to get somebody else that can be on the phone, right? And you've got to make offers. So this software doesn't do, you know, like, okay, let's say you make the software and build it to make offers. You still have to talk to somebody at some time, right? And I found, I was just talking to, I did a podcast with a friend of mine. Sometimes I found the guys that are doing the most deals are the ones that keep it the simple, simplest. Like uh, this one guy I was talking to who's doing, you know, not a ton, but you know, doing three, two, three big deals a month. Average profits are 20 grand, let's say. He's doing everything with pen and paper. He's got manila folders, just like this one here, okay? And he's just keeping notes on a piece of paper. He has one manila folder for blank leads. It's called his pricing sheet. And then every time you get a lead, lead comes in, he puts it in one of the other folders for cold follow-up, hot follow-up, warm follow-up, and just starts following up with that, those notebooks that he has, right? And he has a yellow pad of paper. Now, I'm not saying you should have a yellow pad of paper, right? You should be using the software. You should be using things like FreedomSoft. But you should not be the guy behind the computer updating FreedomSoft manually yourself. You should not be that guy. You need to be the guy that is boxering and messaging your team with the notes from your conversations, and they're the ones that are putting the data into the software. They're the ones that are manually going out there and doing the $5 an hour activities, right? While you're doing the $500 
an hour activity. So technology is great. It's awesome. I love it. You really should check out FreedomSoft. Just go to uh, freedomsoftjoe.com. And right now, as I'm recording this video, within the next week, I'm going to be releasing a bunch of new training videos on FreedomSoft, and they've changed the game. It does now for land investors and house investors, but specifically land, they just added a way to download lists of vacant land, and it's changed the game. It now does like 99% of everything that you need to do in a, in a land business. So here I am talking about like, don't put too much reliance on technology, and then I'm talking about FreedomSoft because it does change the game, and it's made everything a whole lot easier and uh, you're going to love it. But anyway, if you want to get more information about FreedomSoft, go to freedomsoftjoe.com. Pretty soon I'll be putting up a new webinar in there, a new video that shows you everything that it does for land investors. But you know, you don't need any of those other tools anymore. It's like an all-in-one for the first time, finally, an all-in-one platform. The only thing it won't do is it won't talk to sellers for you, right? It won't, um, because real estate's a people business. The software helps you on the people side of the business. It helps you not let leads fall through the cracks, right? It helps you make an offer to every seller that comes in. But um, you still have to understand it's a people business and every real estate deal is different. It's not like you can just plug a real estate deal into, a, into um, zeros and ones and make it come out a deal on the other side. So anyway, I hope you got some inspiration. I know I was speaking to some of you guys that are struggling with chasing the shiny objects and you dig deep into the systems and the software and you get all excited and geek out about that. But that doesn't make you money. What makes money is those four things I always talk about. Marketing, talk to sellers, make offers, and follow up. In fact, marketing. Make sure someone gets your marketing done for you in spite of you, number one. Number two, make sure that you're talking to at least five people a day. Number three, make an offer to every seller you talk to. And number four, follow up every 30 days with every single one of those offers and you will make money, you will do deals. Now, if you can have a software that makes that kind of stuff easier for you, then by all means, get it, learn it. And if you're not, if you don't even know how to turn on a mouse, get somebody else to learn it and do it for you. All right, we'll see you guys, take care. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel down below, give me a thumbs up, let me know what kind of comments, uh, any comments you wanna have. And then also the other thing is, what are some of your favorite software? that you like to use and what, what software in your real estate investing business has had the biggest uh, impact in you and your business that has helped you do more deals? Let me know, type in the comments, your favorite real estate software. We'll see you, bye-bye.